Hi and welcome back. So I thought I will finish the modeling here in this part and also do the rendering, but I decided to do just the modeling here because I was checking some uh, pictures of the sort and I saw there a few details and also I would like to fix one thing at the end. So this part will be just modeling and in the next part I will do the materials and rendering. So when I was checking the photos of this sort uh, or saber. I didn't find any good photo of this front part, but on all photos which I saw, even from some sharp angles, there was some kind of holes in uh, this part and also in some lower part. So I will start with that. And uh, I will do it very simple with the shape merge, but I will disconnect this polys from the model and do just part of that, so you will see. Firstly, but I will do a chamfer here, which I forgot, and let's go to detach part of the body. So select this and this body, ring them, control poly, grow just once, select the move tool, hold down shift, clone to an object, and select our new object. Now let's go to the right view to see it from the front. Select the poly and delete the half. Now delete the second half and now I will affect the pivot to the center and delete a bit more. I will delete everything until here and I will be left just with this double part of, which is small piece of the model which I on which I will do the holes and after I will just copy this all around and do all holes uh, at once so it will save time of course if we we'll, if we will use just <coughs> probably or just boolean it will be probably faster but as you know I don't use that so I will be doing again shape much Okay, so let's go to splines and check the circle. Do one somewhere here. Let's go to the front view and we will drag the circle before the shape on front in front of the shape. Here. Now hold on shift, move this one here. Let's go again to the right view. Z to zoom. And we will drag one here. Can make it, of course, a bit smaller. And this we can keep how it is. Okay, so select again the police, which we detached. Let's go to Compan Objects, Shape Merge, and we'll pick our shapes one and the second. We can convert this back to poly, we can delete the shapes. And let's go here. So have here again vertex which we really don't need. So we can apply weld, which will merge a lot of them. And if you see anything else, you can again delete them with backspace. <coughs> but I don't see here anything. <coughs> Sorry. So we can start. I actually can delete these two words and also these here. Which I don't know for what they are. I can also start to anchoring the shapes uh, to the skeleton or to the other parts of the shape because if I will not do that, uh, you will see a big mess. You know, you have here vertex which are not connected to the shape, they are let's say free. And if you will just apply Turbo Smooth on that, you will have here a big mass of words. So, because this I'm doing that. Okay, now select both of these polys and set them a bit. Okay, we have here probably a double word, something like that. So, let's check that. Yeah, it is here. So, we can use Target Weld, connect it back. So, once more, so we'll apply small inset. Now we will go to perspective and we will simply extrude this back. Like this should be enough. Now we can 
delete this and this. Back here, Control H will do a chamfer. This is the big, smaller like this one. We'll chamfer also this and this loop. Chamfer, we can go slightly smaller. And now we will apply triple smooth if everything is fine or not. Okay, two is a line. Let's look. Okay, it's looking fine for me. Uh, what else we can do here is just to select this and this, apply again and inset. Not not a big one because we'll curse something here, but we didn't, so we can keep it like this. And now it will just disappear. The strange thing inside. Okay, uh, let's go to the left view once more. Left, no, right view. My bad. Z to zoom. <coughs> now, turn this off or delete that. Effect pi, but no, we will not affect pi with anywhere. But it's a bit strange that the pirate is here. <coughs> oh, I'm really sorry for this. So, probably I was already affecting the pirate. I don't know why. Anyway, we'll. Align the pivot to the center of this object. So align center to center. Let's go to the right view if this is how it should be. Almost. Okay, one more time. Like this. Okay, it's in the center, so now we can choose the rotate tool, turn this on, snapping, and we'll just rotate it. I don't know, let's try 12 times. One too much, so 11 will be fine. Now select one of these shapes. Let's go here, attach, select everything here. Hold Ctrl A to the vert, and now you have to be a bit careful because we don't want to weld anything which we don't want. So this is apparently too much, and this should be enough. So we have this shape with the holes, now we need to push it back to the model here. So we can select, or we have to select all the polys like before. So just select the edge, having that control poly, cover the ones, press delete. Now we'll select our shape. Now we can affect the pilot to the center. We'll push it back. And 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 we'll select here one word. Z to zoom. Okay. I will go here, of course turn this off, and I will push our element here a bit back from this view. Yep. Okay, we can attach that back. We have to select uh, these words here can go back to perspective just to see if everything will be merged how it should. So weld this is too much like this. You can try to apply again triple smooth on that to see if everything is really fine. And yes it is. So we have here the holes which I found on some reference and now I would like to do something else here. Now, this I didn't find anywhere, but I don't know, I like this kind of stuff, so I will do it anyway. So, you don't have to do it, uh, you can do it, it's up to you. So, let's select this poly here, poly or edge, doesn't matter. Ring it, so we have to select everything here around and connect it with two points. 
Now again, select the same edge, I mean it Ctrl Poly, hit bevel, change this to by polygon, bevel it out and inside. Bit too much and a bit this more. Okay, this is fine. Now, select the polys, I will pull them up, but I will change this to view. So, once more, pull them up a bit more, probably. Okay, like this, maybe just a bit more. So I will hit Ctrl Vert, Ctrl Poly, and Ctrl Edge. Apply chamfer, small one like this, and apply this back. So, just a detail like this to make this uh, looking more interesting. Can you can also different rotate or move these parts or do two next to each other. So it's up to you. As you can see, it's looking very nicely, much better than before as we started this part looking like more detailed and stuff like that. So I like that a lot. <coughs> okay, let's check the reference a bit. Okay. So in this part, in this black part, is something similar which we had here. Like this kind of scratches or something. Uh, usually I would do that with just a bump map, but I don't want to use any bumps uh, in this model, so I will do it the same way like before. So, I don't know, 9 times do this, I will check extrude, can use the value which we have there, maybe a bit more inside. Now from the front view I will select all these, loop it, chamfer, just like this, and we are done. And as you can see, it's a very nice detail here. I don't know, I like this kind of details. It's very soft, but is there something? There is something. That's the most important. And I love our front part together with this and this and everything. It's looking very nice. Okay, <coughs> so now. Now the grip for the belt, which is here. Uh, now, it's really not hard to do, but I'm just thinking how to do that because. I don't know. So like it should be looking nice, but not difficult to do. So okay. Uh, so by the reference picture it should be here, but I will do it here because when I do the render, probably my model will be laying like this. So I want to see it from this view. So let's go to the top view, and we will do here. Cylinder, we start from this shape, turn this off. So let's create here a small cylinder, doesn't matter. In this view, it's fine. Just push it up, rotate by 90 degrees. Back to the top view, you can hit a 4, it's 1, it's fine. And I don't know, I'll place it here in the middle. <coughs> it should be here. No, it should be somewhere here between these two. And of course, we can make it bigger. Like this. Maybe a bit more. Now, convert this to poly. Now we can go to the perspective view. Delete this poly. Select this one, I will do here two bevels. One, the other will be smaller. Like this. Now I set this shape just a bit. Just want I just want to go with that inside. So like this. And like this. 
control edge make a small chamfer there also here and here loop 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 chamfer okay select this and this I uh, will do here <coughs> also a chamfer but bigger one like this okay now from the top view I will do a mirror up to the shape Okay, place it here, attach this here, and weld this together. Also, when I'm here, I can do a few connections to make them more police. Okay, this part will be the part in which will go the grip for the belt. It shouldn't be big or small, it should be just just like this, I would say. Okay, let's go to the view. Okay. I don't want to scale that. I want to scale that. Scale the whole model a bit. Just a bit, we'll see. <coughs> yeah, like this is fine, I think. Uh, now, where is the center of this shape? Still think it's here. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's go to the left view. No, I'm not in the center. It should be. Okay, no, we will not go to the left view. We will go to the perspective and we just push this down. We'll apply on this trooper smooth. I think one should be enough. Convert to poly. We'll apply FFD. FFD. FFD 44 should be fine. And dragging these and these points. We'll make the bending here. It should fit on the shape. Let's say like that. Maybe a bit more. Here up. Yeah, like this should be fine. And now uh, we can do here <coughs> some other stuff, like from the top view. Oops. I can select these points, go with this here, push this back, and from the perspective, I can make again something here just to make it look a bit different from each other. It doesn't matter much here, surely. So, okay, we have here this part which looks a bit like a hot dog, but the connection should be there, like something on which the belt holder is going. So we decided to do it like that. Okay, let's go to this view now. We'll make the rest with a line tool. And let's see. First of all, let's hit all takes here. And let's go back. So let me think about one thing. That, that, that. Okay. So I will go like this. I'll explain why I did so much points a bit, a bit later. And probably I should end somewhere here. So similar sh shape like I have. Of course, you can do your own. Uh, you can do this absolutely different like I did. It's absolutely up to you. I don't mind. And now, I was deforming this in one axis, and now I would like to deform it also in some other. 
Oops. So let's go here. And why I put here the points was that, that I want to drag this up. So make something like this. Roughly, of course. <coughs> yep, probably like that. It's not looking so bad. Okay, back to top view. Now we will do a mirror of this, like we was doing before. Place it here, somewhere on the place where it should be. Attach this shape to that. Select the words, this one. These ones here, fuse them, and we'll apply this. Apply this, but before it would be probably nice to convert everything to smooth. And if you want, you can play with the points now. I don't want. So I will go here, and I will check. Oh, this is fine. This is fine, fine, fine. Yeah, this is this I like. Apply also triple smooth on that. Oh, why not two? And from the front view, I will select the pivot of this and move it somewhere here. And now we can bet this down. So at the end we have something like this here. So you can do this grip differently, of course. I don't mind. It's absolutely up to you. <coughs> okay, maybe it should be a bit bigger, but I think this this kind of is fine. So okay. Uh, let's see. So we have every detail which I saw, also one plus detail, and one more thing. Now you can actually turn off the video, but I remodeled this. And how? Uh, but uh, I did before something wrong, and I will explain what. So I will select again this shape. I will push the shape forward like before, create a new object. Front view. Actually, just drag this here and this here. And on this, I was doing the shape merge, and so I forgot to apply turbo smooth on that and do it like that. Silly for me, of course. Uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, so I will do the bottoms again. If you don't want, you don't have to. It's really absolutely on you. I, I will do them. And after that, the modeling part is finished. So I will do absolutely the same like I was doing before. So I will choose your circle. Make your circle. Make here circle. Go to the left view. <coughs> select both. Move it here. I can already rotate them a bit. Like this. Turn out the rendering. Also here can play a bit with the position and also with the diameter of that. So this I can make a bit smaller. Oops. This too. Because we don't do any insets here. So it doesn't matter if it's smaller or bigger. So I will keep it like this. Probably it is a bit smaller. And I will do the same, I will do the shape merge. 
here and here. Converts to poly. I delete that one and also this shape. Weld. Okay. And now um, on this shape we have uh, really a lot of the words, so I will try to delete them. Not not everything, of course, but some which I don't think there sh uh, there should be there. And I think there should there are too many of the words. This can cause me problems, which I want to avoid now. Because it will be a little bit strange if I will do a second time the same thing and I will do it again bad. Okay, I think this should be fine. <coughs> okay, let's go here. Uh, the same. Delete what you think should be there. Oops. Okay, I will see about that. So this okay now this should be okay no uh, anyway we'll see so oops I can yeah this I didn't want it to do anyway <coughs> hmm. so select this uh, edit select invert delete the rest I think I will start with this one, so I will just extrude that shape somewhere here, should be enough, I think, just a small bottom, go to local, local, local here, make this straight, control edge, I will just deselect what is here, And make a small, 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 small chamfer. Just a small one. We don't need a big one. Maybe a bit more. Now I will select the back. So I, I'm doing the same like I was doing before. Just before I was doing it on the wrong shape or pattern, let's say. So I will do the chamfer also here. Oop. Chamfer. Okay, this is our first bottom. Now let's go here. Here we can go to the front view. Now here we need to insert the shape. So we'll do it again. Just a bit. Come on. Yeah, we can, we can probably delete this. So one more time, or it should go better. Yep. So I don't know. I will do it, do it like this. Maybe just like this, and I will just scale it down until here and this should be fine so again I will use extrude now I will go a bit with a larger value I will again use the scale tool to make it flat on the top oops <coughs> can directly do again the chamfer Of course, without these here. So again, chamfer. I will select this one, loop it, extrude with a value. I don't know, like this. Loop, chamfer.
Hold on, shift. Move it back a bit. Like this, you should be fine. Hold on, shift again. Inside. Inside. Oops. A bit more inside. I know. Doesn't <coughs> matter there much on the back. Nobody will see that. A loop again. Chamfer the shapes again. And I hope now it should. It will look better. Okay, here. Take up, delete these ones too. Edgy like and enough edgy here on the top. Hmm. Now why is this? Yes of course I have here a lot of ponies, I know that. Anyway I wasn't counting with such such thing there, so I will try to insert this a bit. View. Just scale it down. This will help. Yeah, it's helping. And I will do the same here. So set and just scale. So uh, you can do the bottoms differently if you want. Again, it's just up to you. Okay, let's. Push them back. Okay, we'll firstly place this one, the smaller one, and then select this one. Push it forward. And we are done. The modeling part is done. Cool. So, I hope the bottoms are not so big. I think a bit too. I think a bit they are. Grow, local, back, and grow, grow, local, and back. Okay, now it's better. Okay, we have all details which I saw and which uh, we could model. And in the next part, we will do the materials and nice render. So I think I will do the render from a point like this. We can hide this. We can group this selection. We can prepare something now. Why not? And I will rotate this by 90 degrees. Like this. Yeah, like this. I think I will do the render something like this. Yeah, like this view. And probably also from the other side, why not? But we'll do it in the next part. So thanks for watching so far. I hope you like that. And I will see you in the next part where we finish this model so far. Bye bye.